What's going on everybody, it's Anidia and I'm back again and this time I'm going to bring you some Battlefield Bad Company 2 Vietnam gameplay from Fubai Valley, Rush Mode, we're the defenders, they made their point clear with the big old defender sign in the middle. Uh, what I wanted to bring this video is a couple things, uh, I wanted to ask you guys, I'm tweaking my render settings out, um, I've noticed my last couple videos have been kind of crappy on like 360p, it doesn't really look too great sometimes uh, up until 720p now there could be a few factors involved here it could be YouTube itself I know YouTube fucks around with uh, videos a little bit when they're not uh, when you're not a partner for whatever reason I think it's kind of shitty on their part but it is what it is that's their deal but it's also you know render settings so I noticed I wasn't disabling my uh, frame rate or disabled resampling like I have in my first video so I'm gonna start there I've also watched some tutorials and play around with color correction a little bit more and my color curves a little bit more and I think I've come up with something real good I'm not sure if it's actually gonna cut my render time down and still give me a high quality video or not because uh, I know a few guys have asked if I could get more videos out freak more frequently and uh, one of the main problems is not only, you know, I do have a job and kids and all that crap, but uh, one of the main problems is, is, is currently it takes me three hours to render a video out with everything I do to it to make it look as, as good as I could. And then it, then it takes another three hours for me to upload a video, well, depending on the length of the video. For a 15-minute video, I think it's something like 176 minutes or some crazy crap like that, so almost three hours. So I'm trying to cut that time down. And if I can, I can. If I can't, I can't. Um, if I can't, you know, I'm not going to start putting up shitty quality videos just to put up a video uh, more often. If you know what I mean. I, I, I'm not going to be that guy. I'm just, I want to bring high quality videos every time I do it. So I am tweaking my render settings. I've done a bunch of different stuff to this one. Uh, so please uh, let me know what you guys think if it's better if it's worse if it's on the same par if they look the same you can't tell the difference because I can tell some small differences but you know it may just be me over overthinking and overlooking at the videos you know I watch each video uh, once I, I edit it out I watch it I'll commentate over it I'll watch it to make sure the commentary was good and then I'll render it out and then I'll watch it again to make sure it came out and if it didn't you know I'll fix it yada 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 so, let me know. I'm, you know, I want a third, uh, uh, more perspectives uh, than just mine. And I can ask my wife, but she don't know what she's looking at, so she don't really care. I mean, she can't tell. She just looks at me and just shrugs her shoulders and tells me I'm stupid for doing all this, anyways. But uh, hey, I don't tell her she's stupid for painting her toenails every other day, do I? But uh, so yeah, there's the render setting thing, and uh, let's get more in the battlefield. I I just uh, recently, this is more of this. Actually, I got this gameplay this morning. I have forgot how much I love this game. Um, the Battlefield Bad Company 2, the, the normal game is great as well, but the Vietnam pack is my type of thing. Uh, I absolutely love it. I think it was probably the best 15 bucks I've ever spent on a, like a map pack. If you guys are wondering, it's I think I believe it was 15 bucks, but you get the whole entire new game out of it instead of just you know three rehashed dumbass maps and then uh, on the other side I mean I think they've had like seven or eight different map packs now there's a ton of different maps I haven't even played yet uh, it seems like this morning I ran into maps I've never even knew existed on Battlefield but then again I haven't played it in quite a while for whatever reason every time I, I put it back in I wonder why I, I haven't played it but it's more of that thing, you know, a new game comes out, you get engrossed in it, another new game comes out, you get engrossed in it, you kind of forget that you even had these games. So it's always good to dig through back through, and I'm glad I did, because this is I, the, some of the most fun I've had in a while. And, you know, right right up there with Home Front and Brink. Ah, there's just so many good games. So I wanted to bring you guys this one real quick, and uh, it's not the best. I didn't have the best game in the world. I think at the end of this, I only went like 9-6 and six or something. But, you know, that's not the point of Battlefield. It's not to go 40-1. You know, 
I do have a game that I recorded as well where I think I went 32 and, and 3, but I ignored the objective and we lost the game. So it kind of did me no good. It may look good, but it's not really good in my opinion. You know, I'm, I'm an objective based player. I don't give a shit what my kill death ratio is uh, because, like I've said in the past, people, your kill to death ratio is not going to get you anywhere in, in real life. It's not going to get you laid. It's not going to get you presents and gifts or get you a job. So I don't know why everybody's so damn worried about their KDR. It's more about having fun. But, uh, yeah, so this isn't the best game, like I said, but it was a lot of fun. And what it's what Battlefield engrosses. And that's another thing, you know, like Next Gen Tactics and or Guns for Hire, as a lot of you guys know them, said, you know, this game just engrosses you in, like just sucks you in and makes you feel like you've been a part of something. Whereas Call of Duty just kind of, it's like the quick ADHD, like I've said before, and just you kind of just don't have, you're kind of numb at the end of the game. Yeah, that was great. You know, I went 50 and 5. That's just great. But at, at, in this game, whether you get one kill or 600, you still feel like you did something. It's just, it's that's how that's what Battlefield is about. Being on, you know, a good team and just having a shitload of fun and the environmental destruction, everything going off. And if you do play it or don't play it, or if you're thinking about picking it up, just pick the game up and do yourself a favor. You guys, you will not be disappointed. Uh, it's probably really cheap right now, and then you can buy yourself a VIP pass, get all the map packs, like the seven or eight map packs for free, otherwise you can just buy them regular. I don't know if it's worth which way is better if you're saving money either way. And then, you know, if you want, pick yourself up the Vietnam pack here for 15 bucks. It's going to be the best, you know, probably 40 bucks you spent in a long time. And uh, I am so looking forward to Battlefield 3 and, and how they're going to move this genre forward. You know, it, it may not outsell Call of Duty. Actually, it's not going to sell out, outsell Call of Duty, but who gives a shit? You know, if Call of Duty fanboys want to you know, try to shit all over this game. All us Battlefield players know know that it's not a shitty game and, and just, you know, ignore them anyways. You know, and a lot of people think I hate Call of Duty, but I don't. I don't hate Call of Duty. It's more of a community issue for me and where the community of Call of Duty, Duty is going. Not all of you guys, uh, just the majority of people. You know, they're wor so worried about their double Y wall bang and triple sow cow backflip into a chest, chest of pits, you know, fucking 360 no scope. And, and then everybody swarms to the objective games in, in Call of Duty and just ruins it for, for everybody. It's That's what it's becoming. And I think that's more my problem with the game than actual the game itself. Uh, because in my opinion, Black Ops is a really well-balanced and well-done game. It's just the community and the perks and the kill streaks and all that shit just fucking ruin it. Um, like, whereas in this game, you know, nobody's sitting here worrying about perks and kill streaks and this and that and this and that. Yes, you do have class setups that do have, you know, perks or whatever, but it's different. It's it's not the same uh, feel and everything. And here, you know, it's a good damn thing I don't play on hardcore because, you know, like that red, it's dead, or in this case, orange, it's dead. And I would have taken out probably all, all ten of those guys and not even thought twice about it and moved on. So hardcore is probably out of my future because I'd be that guy that just comes in spraying and if you get in the way it's your own damn fault when in all actuality it's my fault but uh yeah so Battlefield is an excellent game you're gonna see a lot more from that coming you will see a lot more Brink um, and a lot more home front so Kyle I'm gonna kinda throw off to the wayside for now it doesn't seem very popular even though it's a very fun game I'm just having a hard struggling to get you guys uh, exciting gameplay because I, you know, I go 10 and 10, 15 and 10, the occasional 20 and 10. I've had like a, a good game, like a 30 and 5, but uh, yeah, it's just, it's just a, uh, it's a different style game. It doesn't, but it doesn't seem as popular among my subscribers as I maybe I thought it would be. So I'm gonna throw that to the wayside. I'm still gonna play it. But I'm going to focus more on entertaining you guys because, you know, this is your channel as much as it is mine. So if you guys want to see Brink, and I know a lot of you guys do, that's what's going to be done. And my next video is definitely a Brink gameplay video. I can promise you that. I got a bunch uh, I need to edit up and, and get a commentator over. But, yeah, so 
you know, please feel free to leave any uh, comments or whatever on, on my render settings. If if see what it, if it's done for you, if you guys like it or you don't like it, and uh, yeah, you know, I've gotten a few more subscribers here in the last couple days, so thank you guys. Welcome to my channel once again, and uh, here this is the game's uh, finishing up. So. You know, as always, guys, have a great weekend. It's raining here as usual, so I'm going to see what I can do inside and get myself some more Battlefield gameplay in. But uh, have a great weekend, like I said. Peace.